Yeah, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is I, your host, commentator, and founder of ICW, Jay Sama Twitch TV, here live for a whole new episode, a whole new premiere, a whole new series. We are here live for Tuesday Night Toxicity, and we are about to showcase some of your all time rookies, all time classics. And show that we still get this energy going like it's never been going before. We are not going to waste no time. We're going to start things off with the first match of the day. The first match, we have Palasinki taking on a new debuting star for ICW. Mika Neko. Palasinki, Mika Neko, one on one here tonight. Neko starts things off with a punch and sets up for a pump handle backbreaker. Ooh, Neko with a suplex and now going for the count. One two, and a kick out at one. Starting things off right, kick to the back. Palasinki able to take that. Throws her. Ooh, a spear by Neko. One, two, and a kick out at one again. Oh, and there goes Sinki. She locks it in. Hurricane Rana. Sinki is going in with a couple attacks. Neko. Sinki sends her straight on the outside. Oh. Neko able to counter. Yep, 
Yo, Faceless, what's up, bro? How are you? Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday morning. What's going on? Oh. Oh, there it is, the waffle iron. Oh, she sets up the pancake flattener off the ropes. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half. And drop kick to the back. That's good, bro. Glad you feeling all right. Ooh, right onto the turnbuckles. And get a roll. And I'll apply some pressure to the back. Ooh. And now Sinky sends it straight into the corner. Neko able to counter. Slap. Ooh, and then the right hand. And now going to the top rope. She's thinking of what to land. Then hits a splash. One. Two. And a kick out of two. Goes back up again. Oh. Ooh. Almost thought she ran into an enziguri, but blocked it. He was able to bring her down with a face buster. Might get on Fortnite. Uh, sounds like the good move for real. I'm kind of just tired of gaming for right now. I'm just gonna do my stream and then just probably do some other stuff. Probably work on music or some shit. Oh, trying to go for a splash, but the knees were up. Oh, counter. And Neko is thrown to the outside. Ooh, try to go for a double stomp, but that did not go anywhere. There they go, fighting on the outside. Ooh. Oh. Sinky would have tilted where her Karana. Echo still out there on the ground. Now, now finding way back in. Oh, she got it set up. And a slam straight to the face. She wanted to figure out a name for that move. They got to figure out a name. Two. And a kick out at two and a half. Hits a standing moonsault. And hits a 450, but the knees were up in time. And a kick out at two. What does Sinky else have it to take? Going a good couple punches. Ooh, took the arm and then a kick to the face. Double stomp to the gut. Kick to the chest. Stomp to the arm. And now has a submission applied.
Oh, Zinky lets her go. Ooh, counter. And hits a standing moonsault. A standing shooting star. Now going for the pin. One, two, and a kick out at two. Again, Neko able to connect, but is this enough? Is this enough to put out Palasiki and receive their first win on the roster? One, two, three, and Neko picks up the win. Neko pulls off the win. Congratulations. Huge start into their career. All right, we move on to the next matchup. We have Flash Rebel returning back to uh, damn, returning back to action as he takes on a new debuting star, the Big Country Oak himself, along with Spirit and Dobby. As Dobby calls him his father and personal bodyguard. Man has a lot of fathers. <laughs> Rack self out bed flops in it. Nico, what's the word? How are you? Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday morning. Alright. Let's see how Big Country does in his debut match against Mr. Flash Rebel. Two big super heavyweights clashing. You just woke up, I did too. <laughs> I fell back asleep after finishing up all of this and then realized I had to stream and I was like, fuck, I had to get back up. <laughs> Walking down straight to that ring. The most dangerous man that anyone will ever meet in their entire life. Flash. He's a brawler. He's a fighter. He's ready to prove a point here tonight. Last week we saw him debut against Mr. Visionary King Pierce Perch and walk away with the dub. I've been awake since 8 this morning. You should come by later for some DVD. Oh, oh. I was like, I was on DVD last night. Hey, but, uh, I'll see. I'll see. Because it's you, I'll, I'll see. I'll see if I want to. From New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 378 pounds. Or you can run so me new new what? <laughs> or you can run some what? Or you can run some new new. What's new new? Oh, never mind. DVD it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
big man country standing at seven foot two. He's a tall one right there. All right, we got Flash. We got Country. I don't even think those are chaps. <laughs> oh, Country pushing off Flash. He's definitely pushing off Flash Rebel. And they're supposed to be the same size. Ooh, drops him on the ropes. And Country now hurting the hand. As he's stomping him out, knee to the back. But Flash just took that attack. Oh, he ran into him, but didn't even tumble over. Ooh. Sends him down to the ground. Now going to the... Oh, my God. It's a lot of weight crashing down onto the back. Oh, ooh. Flash able to blind him for just a moment, but that really did not help him at all for real. Oh my Jesus. Oh my God, right onto the knee. I will try to hit a big boot, but he blocked it. He's got him back up. And Country throws Flash to the outside. And now it's chasing. Now Flash hits him. Ooh! He was able to get him on one knee. And he brings him down to the ground. Hurting that arm. And now knee to the back. Just stuck to the arm. Try to run him into those steel steps. That didn't work. Now Flash reset at the count. Or reset the count. Ooh, right into the barricade. This does not look right. It looks like he's about to get jumped. Country hurting the leg. He hits it again. Oh my god, Flash is doing some damage to Country now. And this count is reset again. Flash counter that one. Flash is able to look up country and hit him with a fisherman drop. Ooh. He's gonna do some more damage. He's hurting those arms. He's definitely got those arms locked. Back in the ring, and Flash with the deep six. And the kick out at two. Oh, trying to go for the cutter, but Country able to counter. damage. Country now it would have Oh Ooh oh, he ran into him. Oh Ooh powerful slam
Strong elbow drop. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half. Ooh. That did not sound good. Country trying to figure out what to do now. He has no idea. I think Flash might be a little bit, yeah, there he goes. He's slowly collecting himself back up. Ooh, and the knee. Flash able to counter. And there goes the cutter. One, two, and the kick out at two and a half. Six once more by Flash. And Flash is readying it up. Can he get him? Try to hit that cutter again, but Country able to counter him. And there's a strong suplex. Oh, strong punch by Flash. I think he may have just pissed off the giant even more. Oh, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my God. All those punches straight to the, those hits straight to the chest. They'll make your soul leave your body. Flash sends Dobby, I mean, the country back inside the ring. Oh, oh he hits that knee. He's trying to set him up. Does he have it? I think he's got it. Hits the strong elbow drop. One, two, three, and a kick out at two and a half again. There's no way he could be making out of these attacks. Oh, he tackles him. I mean, he close on him back down. DDT, is this enough? And three, Flash Rebel picks up the win against Big Country Oak. It was a close one, but he stayed strong. Flash picking up his second win. He knew that he was ready. We're going to move on to the next matchup. We have Kyvin Island going one-on-one -on -one against veteran Bree Bree along with her partner Lili, former women's tag team champions. Let's see if they can make anything turn around here for Kyvin's career. Not fly, make him fly. I'm not trying to get him to throw him. But, but what? Mississippi, Kaiva, the Enforcer, Evelyn. 
Kaizen, small but tough, able to soar through the skies, fly like an eagle. But does she have what it takes to survive here in ICW? the main attraction herself had came a long way from season one all the way up to now season one they weren't even partners but season two they decided to work together to try to focus on one thing and one thing only making the women's division much more intense and that's exactly what they came to do two-time women tag team champions first reign only lasted one hour but the second reign lasted up to 20 to 30 days Let's see what Kyvan has up against the veteran Bri herself. Both experienced technical and high flyer personas. And now, ooh, the knee strike to start things off. One, two, and a kick off at two. Bri Bri able to counter with the elbow, slap, and now going straight in with the punches and kicks, combination attacks. Oh. Jawbreaker, now the knees, I mean, now the back of the knees getting hit. Kyvin with the cut, with the gut check. And now going straight to the top rope. I hit an elbow drop, but Bree Bree rolls out of harm's way. Sunset flip power bomb by Riri. One, two, and a kick out at two. Oh, she hits the double knees. Insult to injury. That was quick, actually. Wait a minute. Sager twist. Is this it? One. Two, three, and that was the quickest I've ever seen anyone win a match. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Riri just ended this match in less than a, like, this is less than a minute. They weren't even fighting for a complete minute, and that, Damn. Well, uh, we just go. We just go move on to the next matchup. So, damn that. That shit didn't even last a fucking minute. Jesus. We move on to the next match. It is a tag team match featuring the Deadly Crocs taking on the newcomers, Kendrick Ali, and. Yadoku Sasori. So these two are going to be partners for the day, but they need to focus on their area game. See how they need to take down the Deadly Crocs. Deadly Crocs of 
veteran tag team for sure. Haven't won a tag team title yet, but that don't mean that they they can't go and pursue for them. Ultra Singer 40, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the summer gang. Ha ha. Yeah, how are you, friend? I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday morning slash afternoon. Sing again. Uh, do I have a? S well, I do have a. Oh dang! I do have a sing mode, but that's at like 5k. Uh, I don't know. I really, I mostly really don't like singing uh on stream because <laughs> I get embarrassed most of the time. What do you mean? Don't worry. Don't worry about what. <laughs> I will save. I'm dead. <laughs> not you gonna save for sing mode. I'm probably gonna make it a little less cheaper because I uh, don't know. Nah, I really kind of do like the same mode option. It's just and I make you sick. Oh my god. How the hell you at 2.9k already? Oh right, you have <laughs> you got a sub. <laughs> I forgot you are sub. Damn it, Jester. <laughs> You're gonna use Twitch emotes and not use mine? That's that's tough. That's tough right there, Nico. I see how that is. I say watch and bother you. You don't even bother me. I'm happy to have you here. Is that an omelet? No, that is a taco. It's a get folded like a street taco. That's my saying. So I had it turned into an emote. <laughs> Yeah, I actually do like it. It's it's pretty amazing. Shouts out to Shona for making my emotes. I appreciate you. Love you, gang. All right, this is actually going to be a formidable team. Yadoku and Kendrick working together for the first time. Yadoku, we saw Monday night yesterday take on uh, Death and ended up coming out with the dub. And here comes the veteran tag team. Thank you, Nico. Thank you. I actually, I actually do like the emote. Now you have a Uno reverse card emote. That's funny. What's even funnier is I can probably counter that real quick. Let me see if I can find it. I know I have it. And you have been countered. <laughs> In the words of Shade, <laughs> I'm dead. No. <laughs> I 
the Deadly Crocs veteran tag team here. These two definitely can work together when it counts. So let's see how they do against a team that has never existed in the tag team division. Oh, Yadoku starting off this match first and hits off a couple punches. Spooky. <laughs> Spooky. Yudoku not going straight for the arm of Joel. Oh, he hits him with a chop. Oh. Joel with a counter kick. Oh, thrown straight into the turnbuckles. Joel now counters again. I slap him. Yudoku now punching. Hitting him with a couple quick moves. Uh oh. He's definitely throwing Joel off his game a little bit. And he throws Joel to the outside. Ooh, I'm sorry. And Joel now stomping. Out of eight count, and the pump handle suplex. And Arthur now tagged in. Oh, the gut buster! Jesus, that's gonna make you throw up your lunch. Doku, ooh. It will reverse STL, two. And a kick out of two. And now Kendrick Ali in this matchup. Let's see how he does. Ooh. Now we catch the leg. Attacking Kendrick Ali. Ali tried to go for somebody and did not work out. Ooh, throws him. Stuff on the arm. Ooh. Doku's now in the match. Reverse his TO. Kendrick Ali's got him up. Oh, Joe Lee with a counter. Ooh, punch to the kidney. And yeah, axe handle shoot to the back. Nico oh. Yeah, some with a bulldog. Stump on the arm.
Chikali and Yadoku actually working together. They're putting on the perfect matchup here. And they've only been partners for not even that long. Oh. Doku tried to go for that punk kick, but I think Arthur may have countered out of it. Back suplex. Backward Pele kick. Oh, he was tagged in. Breaks up the pin. Deadly Crocs pick up the win in this matchup. You're on my lunch, Jester. What's the word, gang? Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you, bro. Number one mod in the building. All right, we ain't going to waste no time. We're going to move on to the next matchup. It is Celeste ticket on Rosa in a one on one matchup. So far, this show has been nothing but purely, purely chaotic. We've seen, um, who was it? We saw uh, Neko pick up her first win. We seen Flash defeat Big Country Oak. We seen Bravery take out Kaivin in less than a minute, and then that tag team match. Celeste is ready for this. She had no plans for the main roster, but she she is willing to do whatever she can and try to climb herself back up.
And there they are. Match has started. Rosa. Go ahead and make up with some punches and then a slap at the end. Celeste kick to the face. Oh. And the uppercut. drop. Going for the pin. I'm going to kick out it too. and Jalbert about Rosa. Oh. Send Celeste back on the inside. Kick out of two. Mm 
One, two, and a kick out of two. Yeah, Doku Doku, what's the word, my boy? I ain't even gonna lie to you both. Your boy's still sleepy. I'm over here holding on, fighting it right now. It, it was close to winning, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Also, you did have a you did have a match not that long ago, even though you did lose, but it was a tag team match, so still still in the lead on singles competition. <laughs> Rosa giving Celeste the woodwork. Oh, Celeste able to counter. Oh. Oh, and there it is. The careful to clutch. How long can Rosa hold? She is let go. Oh, Celeste steps on the arm. One, two, and a kick out at two. Nope. There's that ground and pound. She's going back to that arm, Jesus. She is obliterating Rosa right now. Am I streaming later? Uh, I need to find out if I am or not. It usually depends. Probably. I have to see for real because I don't know who I'm going to be streaming with. DVD be fire. Uh, I'm think I'm thinking I'm either gonna stream either the quarry today or Resident Evil 6 with Anubis. I don't know yet. Oh, and the shining wizard by Rosa. Is this it? I'll kick out at two and a half. Resident Evil do go crazy. We was actually doing pretty decent, except we died like three times in the Kick to the back. These two are hitting everything with each other. This is time to be the longest match of the night so far. We might as well doze off and go. That's what I'm going to do afterwards. Because I had to wake up sooner or later and go get some stuff done. Oh, Sunset Flip Power Bomb. One, two, and three, Rosa picks up the win. Man, so it's this chick. What chick? Wait, what are you talking about? All right, all right. Congratulations to Rosa. All right, we move on. She's six. Hey, yo. All right, we move on to the next matchup. We have one member of each team going against each other. We have Nictaro taking on Xavier. This girl I just started talking to from Twitch, LOL. I don't even want to be nosy for real, but you really pushing it. Nah, I'm like, <laughs> not playing. I'm playing. Hey, man, do what you got to do, Brody. I'm t not you using the... I'm rolling, bro. Not you out here using the emo. Ah, oh, dead. <laughs> Forgot you added those. Thank you. 
All right, let's go ahead. So, mm -hmm. Taro versus Zabo one on one powerhouses for sure. All right, one on one. Let the match begin. Nictaro starts off with a kick to the gut, countering everything Xavier does. Hits his head on the turnbuckle. Oh. Stomp to the chest. Oh, and the running knee. Or the knee. I don't know what to call that shit. <laughs> yeah, he's got some mission locked in, but it's a rope break. The repeated mountain punches to the face. Oh, he's gonna do it again, but Nick Taro able to counter that time. Counter. 
kick to the chest, I mean kick to the gut, like Xavier taking control of this match, hits him off the turnbuckle and throws him, kick out at one. Taro now throwing those punches. Oh, uh, he's dragging him for whatever reason. Oh, uh, Xavier now with the possum. One and the kick out at one. Breaker, Jesus. And now, Nictaro doing some damage to the joints. Ooh. And the stomp to the head to finish it off. One, two, and a kick out of two. And try to go for the RKO, but Xavier had other plans. On those mountain punches again. Ooh. Oh, he's got to set up pedigree. One, two, and a kick out of two. Buster. Welcome back, Nico. Ooh, punches to the kidney. Jesus. It was a good episode. I bet it was. Ooh, elbow to the gut. Hey, trying to go for a neck breaker. What? Taro with a backbreaker. Ooh, punch. Ooh, elbow straight to the face. And ooh, a back body drop. Definitely doing some damage. Another neck breaker. Oh, wait a minute. Nictaro might have other plans. Is he gonna hit the... He's gonna land the... He lands the Super RKO from the top rope. One, it's a rope break. Something. Oh, those are the phone. Oh, counter. D Jones 16, what's the word? How are you? Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday afternoon. And there goes Xavier delivering more punches. Send them over to the corner. Doing good, thanks. I'm good. I'm more tired than I usually am, but just gonna suck it up and get through this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, there it goes. Stepping on the joints. He's hurting the body right now. Finishing off with a stump on the head. Goes to the pin. And a kick out at two. Oh, he's readying it up. Can he get it? Oh, he almost had the RKO. Oh, and he tried to hit him with a pedigree. That wasn't going to work that time. These two have been countering each other move after move. Which one is going to land the final blow? Ooh, the kick to the head. Knee to the back. Suplex by Nick Taro. One, two, and a kick out at two. Oh, Nick Taro readying it up. Can he get it? And he lands it, RKO. One, two, three, and Nick Taro picks up the win. Nick Taro picks up the win after that one. Congratulations. We move on to the next matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one match between Azul, the newest member of the Sinister Army, and the hype man himself, Alpha Aztec. The show is actually going well. We decided to um, we decided to kick things up a notch and make a new show here for our rookies of ICW or our trainees in development right now. You and this. The most dangerous tag team in the history of ICW. Rojo. Negro. And Azul. Now joins the fray. Oh damn, don't want to mess with him. Yeah, the dangerous duo ever. Or dangerous team ever. Started in season one of ICW, which was literally a year ago. Alpha, what's the word? I hope you're having a lovely day at work, friend. And his opponent from Cairo, Egypt. 
weighing in at 226 pounds, Alpha. How the no oh shit? How the matches? Any surprises? Not really. It's just a battle between. Uh, it's just a. This is a show for rookies and trainees in development. So it's just all gonna be under uh, card matches for real. But overall, they've been very surprising from time to time. And here he is, the hype man of the hour, bringing the toxicity. Is this based on a... On a real fit? Uh, are you trying to say like a real feud? Oh, like a real company um so not really so what i did is i ended up making my own like wrestling promotion on this game and this was like a year long in the making so uh frog splash and machine i'm dead <laughs> but uh i made this promotion in like 2019 and made it for like an online basis and it started off with like a couple of people i made some people out of my um I made some people that uh, I created on my own, people I knew from real life experiences, and then I started to invite other Twitch streamers to become wrestlers, a part of this promotion. And that's how it all, like, pretty much, yeah, that that's how it all pretty much became an entire now company. And it's actually really amazing. I actually do love this. I love working with the, the people and, Everybody loves it, so we stuck with it, and now we're about to be in our, I think November is about to be the one year anniversary of this entire company. Oh, this entire promotion. All right, Alpha staying strong. Oh, he hits a drop kick to the side of Azul's head. I felt hella dumb. I thought it could have been a Mexican company. I haven't seen. No, nah, um, it, ICW was at first called International Championship Wrestling, and then I ended up changing the name to uh, Internet Championship Wrestling. Oof. And the DDT. Alpha definitely staying on his toes and gets on Zool here. Azul now able to counter. Now he's getting a couple chops. He's going in. Baseball slide to the knee. I like the name. Oh, Internet Championship Wrestling? Yeah, we ended up changing it because it was like, since almost everything for real is internet based because of Twitch and all that stuff, that's why we changed it to uh, Internet Championship Wrestling. And the kick to the back. And now Alpha going up to the top rope. And there it is, that signature frog splash. Did you create the graphics? Um, I'm going to make this bitch, oh, really? um, So when, yeah, so I ended up making like the arena. I make the logos. I make the, um, yeah, I make the show names and stuff like that. I do have a creative team as well. So shout out to my creative team, Jester, Shade, Dobby, and all of them. Um, we started making uh, other superstars to like fill up some of the gaps in between. Uh, my boy Jester made the championship belts, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, wrestling takedown now, and now Azul playing some mind games with Alpha. Come get those cheeks clapped, hey yo. And this is why we call Alpha the Hype Man. Oh my god, Azul dies to the outside. Drop kick to the clapping cheek. Nico, no. Stop. No. Don't you start. <laughs> Three, 
No dancing on me. What an ass. Oh, I'm dead, bro. Oh, I'm dead, bro. Actually, D. Uh, actually, D. Jones, how'd you find me if you don't mind me asking? Or how did you uh, hear of me? It's at an eight count. Alpha needs to recover quickly before he gets counted out. Alpha now playing mind games. I was in the mood for some wrestling. That's how you found me? That's actually pretty, that's pretty fire. I thought somebody was like recommending me or something. Oh. Everyone else looking kind of mad. <laughs> Ooh, the blockbuster. Be right back again. All right, Nico. Yeah, I get it. You you just want to find something that's entertaining to you, and that's that's understandable. I kind of do the same thing as well. Kick out at two by Azul. But yeah, that's where I pretty much uh, started like wanting to make my own stuff and kind of make it more, uh, put more stuff out there. Frog Splash by Dobby. Is this it? I mean by uh, Alpha. Oh my God, I messed up the name. And a kick out at two. Alpha definitely getting frustrated now a little bit, but he has to keep his cool. He has to keep his momentum. He has to keep that going. I woke up today and realized something. I really like Big Poopy. <laughs> Gave it star. <laughs> I'm dead. What's up, bro? How are you? I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday afternoon, gang. Oh, my God. Oh, the elbow to the face. And the knee strike to the gut. Oh, Alpha. Taking a ride with the Samoan driver. One, two, and a kick out at two. Golly, yes, sir. What's the word? Oh! Is he going to do it again? He had a second one. Is that enough? And Azul picks up the win. So it's who is who in this? So Azul is somebody I ended up making. The whole Sinister Army is the people I ended up making. And Alpha is, it's Alpha Bravo. That's his own character I ended up making for him. Jesus Christ, the Sinister Army looks ready and willing to throw down in the gauntlet. D. Jones, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Sama Gang. Ha! Ha, yeah, what's the word, man? Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Since the army looks fire, they are very so, but they are very dangerous as well. All right, we gonna. I'm sorry, Alpha. You go. We're gonna have to put you back in the training dojo once again. Don't worry, you'll come back out. You'll come back out ready. You'll come back out ready again. We're gonna put you. Gonna put you in the uh, top tier section. All right. We're going to move on to the next tiny-ass Power Rangers. <laughs> I'm dead. We're going to move on to the next matchup. We have a women's tag team match featuring Quinzel and Tanya Young of the JDI, Jester Designs Incorporated. And there's the leader right there supporting them by their side, taking on Sour Patch, Sugarfoot, the Candy Girls. That's what I said. I'm dead. Yeah, you did call them. When you was going up against Vierde, you called them a shiny-ass Power Ranger. And then Candy Girls. Eh? Yeah, they're called the uh, Candy Girls. Shout out to Joke the Goat that made the uh, character designs. Here they are, JDI. Yesterday we saw two members of the team, Architect and Barbarian, take on Schmeet Gang and ended up winning. 
What's your favorite creation? Uh, dang, that's that is a tough question. That is a really tough question. If I have to say, are you talking about like in general or my favorite creation that I've ever made? Because if we're talking about in general, that's going to be a really tough one. That you may okay. Uh, my favorite creation that I've probably ever made really was is probably going to be. Damn, there's a lot that I've actually made. Uh, my favorite creation that I'm probably ever gonna that I've ever made is possibly. I'm gonna say this and not to sound like a huge dick because I wouldn't say my own like team, but my entire Sama gang, I ended up making their entire like attires and everything. And we would usually match from time to time. So I probably say like my entire group is my entire like favorite creation that I've ever made. Like we are four brothers that's been bonded by like stories and stuff like that so every time you see us come out in different outfits and every time you see us perform and stuff like that it's uh it's really just the story of how we all bonded close as a family for real and that's why i love like whenever i make different costumes for us and stuff like that oh uh, yeah definitely the lore is definitely strong but that's that's what i uh Yes, this is uh, AI versus AI. I don't never control any of the characters at all. <laughs> is there any way I could? If you want to, if you already have your own um, character. Oh, I didn't even know. I thought that was a uh, D Jones saying that. What's up? Uh, uh, dang, big, big Papito. That's how you call it, big Papito. Welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a lovely uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, D Jones, if you got your own character already, you can join the Discord and send me the information on how to get it. But if you want one made for you, um, put in the um, put in exclamation point ICW sign up and put in the information, and I can make one for you. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're doing great, man. What? Uh, how did you find me? If you don't mind me asking. And Tanya Young stumping a mud hole right now in Sour Patch. Jesus. Oh, Tanya Young's got Sour Patch up. Ooh, straight into the corner. Just going through the WWE list, understandable. What was the command again? If you already have your own character, put an exclamation point Discord. If you don't have a character you want one made, put an exclamation point ICW sign up. All right, Quinzel now tagged in and doing some damage to Sour Patch now. Jesus, hurt the side of the hurt the ribs and now throwing her like a rag doll. And the punch is real. The right hand, Sugarfoot now tagged in. Let's see if she can defend. God damn, never mind. I was about to say, could she defend her sister's honor? Hell nah, she got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> I'm I am a con content creator myself just need work just networking and looking to meet new people oh that's that's fire I actually do the same thing for real I'm like I wouldn't uh actually I wouldn't mind following you for real if you uh stream oh actually you do hold on I got you go ahead hit you with that follow Tanya Young wheelbarrow Oh, the slap. 
And thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Sama gang. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Oh. And Tanya Young hits the fairy tale ending. One, two, and a kick out at two. And the knees by Sugarfoot pushes back Tanya Young. And now Sour Patch is tagged in. Ooh, and the body slam. Quinzel tagged back in. And now Sugarfoot. I mean, Sour Patch. God damn it. I mix the names so goddamn much. This is hype. Can't wait to see my guy kick the man. I right, say less. If you already did it, I can make them in, uh, after the show. If you do got Discord, you can join through and you can uh, join the Discord and I can send you what your character looks like after one, two, and a kick out at two. Thank you, uh, Jester. I appreciate that. Yep, just to definitely be having fun watching why you at work. I appreciate him so much. One, and it's a rope break. Hand was on the ropes. What kind of wrestling do you like? Uh, when it comes to me watching wrestling for real, I like wrestling that has like a like a really good story behind it. Like, yeah, like story based wrestling. Like what um basically the whole um. What was my favorite one? My favorite one would probably be my favorite rivalry refer would probably be um is this just um these are just uh creator wrestlers yeah these are just cause I'm thinking my favorite yeah my favorite story based thing was probably like John Cena and Randy Orton matches are always like fun to watch for real but my favorite storyline wise would probably be Triple H and Shawn Michaels. They had a Who's Your Daddy match in New Japan. In New Japan, they have a Who's Your Daddy match? That sounds very interesting. I might have to look that up. <laughs> Edge and Cena was the shit back and forth. I loved Edge and John Cena rivalry. It was actually pretty, uh, it was actually pretty fun. I actually just like Edge as a heel in general because Edge as a heel back in the day was just the biggest menace in in history in WWE history. It was so fucking so fucking uh <laughs> Mina said what the damn she about to throw her whole back away just because she missed that oh my god Edge and Lita was definitely elite as well that was that was great, especially when John Cena made those hilarious uh, segments with him uh, talking about Lita all the time. It was so fucking funny. All right, Sour Patch, Tanya Young throwing, throwing down, throwing them hands. Oh, try to go for a suplex. Able to counter his Sour Patch with a German. Sends it back into the corner. He gets her sister into the action. Sugarfoot is now tagged in. Oh. And they send her flying straight into her direction. I remember how the Royal Rumble at the edge won his first uh, first world title and Cena beat him. And I was low key salty as hell. <laughs> you made food. What you, what you cooking? What you cooking, Nico? Y'all was salty as hell too when uh, he cashed in and won the world title and then John Cena immediately won it back at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Ooh, Sugarfoot turning things around. One, two, and Quinzel broke, breaks up the pin. I said broke, so what the fuck? <laughs> oh, and the arm drag. Or the arm lock.
Oh, sour patch now. Random pound, stuck to the gut. Oh. Ooh, what a slap by Tanya. Sends her opponent into the turnbuckle with such force. Vader versus Antonio Inoki in New Japan in his retirement too was in his retirement tour was a masterpiece too. I actually haven't seen that. I actually might have to look that one up. Quinzel breaks up the pin yet again. Quinzel was about to go straight after Sugarfoot too. It's like I know this motherfucker. <laughs> you don't want these hands. You don't want these problems. Who's your favorite old school superstars and current? Uh, I th I've said this. I know somebody asked me before. My favorite old school wrestler. Damn, there's a lot. I have a lot. It's it's funny. I have a lot of them. My favorite one would probably be Stone Cold Steve Austin, and then current will probably be will probably be Big E. Definitely, probably Big E. Razor Ramon and Bray Wyatt. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good combination. Rest in peace to the rest in peace, Scott Hall. Misawa and Sami Zayn. <laughs> That's a great one, especially Sammy. Sammy, Sammy now is funny. Like the whole bloodline storyline is fucking hilarious to the T. The Rock and Swerve. We, I know you like Swerve, Scott Jester. <laughs> Sammy needs to be someone's ass soon. Oh God. Oh, the questions for the chat as well. All right, chat. You heard. You heard the man. Who's your favorite old school wrestler and current wrestler? If you don't watch wrestling, I feel sorry <laughs> that this question was asked to you. Oh, the knee of truth, Tanya Young. One, and Tower Patch breaks it up. I might need to change my old one to Vader. I like Vader too. I'm more of a Bam Bam Bigelow fan, though, too. Well, damn. That's some confidence. He actually would, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. How you miss that? What? That is crazy. Oh, counter. Ooh, the slap, too. That's that's some disrespectfulness right there. And tags in her sister, Sour Patch. Punch to the gut. And the Spanish fly. This is some beautiful combination moves right now. This tag team match has been going on for a minute. I love the dollar store Sasha Banks right now. She's doing the flips to perfection. You said dollar store Sasha Banks. Oh, you wild. <laughs> All right, Jester. Have a great day at work, bro. Ooh, in the right hand. You mean Tanya? That's not that's crazy. You mean Tanya? <laughs> I thought he was talking about uh, Tanya Young is the one with all the black hair and is like uh, a little bit whiter than um, most of them. Basically the white one. Basically the white one. BRB ad right now. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Quinzel. One, two, and the pin's broken up. Quinzel throws Sour Patch to the outside. You better hurry up and take a something right now. Ooh, another knee of truth by Tanya Young. One, two, three, and the JDI picks up the win. Oh shit. Here are your winners.
Tanya Young picking up the win for the team. That one's just the ones that just picked up the W right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the main event of the night. It is a triple threat tornado tag team match. We have to your left from right. If we talk to female wrestlers, then it's uh, Aja Kong. Aja Kong and Gail Kim. Oh yeah, my favorite ones will probably be um, Beth Phoenix and um, damn Current right now. I have no idea. Current, I'll probably say. Would I be wrong if I say that my favorite uh, Current wrestler right now is Rhea Ripley? I feel like I'd be wrong a little bit. Nah, I mean I I do like her wrestling ability too. But I have not seen a wrestler at all in a minute, so I can't really possibly say that. I'll probably right now just say Bianca Belair then, too. Rhea Ripley is my teenage brother's favorite. I wonder why. I really wonder why. <laughs> I'm dead. Now play. I don't get it. Hey. You will soon get it. Trust me. When you, get, when you find out, you will soon get it. <laughs> Mine is Tris and Liv. Mine was definitely Liv Morgan for a moment. It was it was definitely Liv Morgan for a moment. But I've always supported Liv when, uh, when she was fighting for a championship. So when she became champion and they wasn't doing her story right, I, I, I ain't really like... Beautiful. Trish is definitely Trish Stratus is definitely a uh, good. This is a good uh, one. Yeah, but I I kind of I was supporting Liv Morgan when she didn't have a championship and when she was fighting for one, it was actually understandable. So when she won the championship and I was like right there when I saw it, it was it was fire. It was great. They just did her storyline wrong as a champion. <laughs> All right. We have the Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team Match featuring the Shiny Stars, the Waffle Gang, and the new team of Victor Green and Damian Black. In my E-Fed, the first match I did was Undertaker and Lita in a fire match? Not you did an Inferno match. Damn, these dudes look like they in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I'll tell them you said that. <laughs> They'll probably just laugh too, for real. Because actually, I was thinking the same shit. They got Liv turning heel and join Wyatt Six later this coming year. Hey, that'll be fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. With Bray Wyatt returning, he's gonna need like a big. Uh... These guys are my favorite. You talking about the ones in the ring right now? Well, actually, that makes that makes pretty much sense. Waffle Gang is pretty, has pretty cool designs, and they the ones that made their own gear. Ezio and, and Altar. Yeah, I'll I'll tell them you said that. They'll probably just agree with you too. Shining stars, Ian and Platinum, ready to get things started here in this matchup. I wish I had you guys' creativity for real. These wrestlers are cool as hell. When do you stream next? Uh, I stream uh, later on tonight. So I'm doing uh, horror games this month because it's October and everybody likes horror shit. So I'm playing the quarry with uh, one of my friends uh, that won Succubi. 
women wrestlers gotta get gotta go with Jackie Monroe for old school and Naomi for current. Jackie Moore oh Jackie Moore, I said Monroe. I'm stupid. My fault. Uh but uh it doesn't I mean create but what oh, I was about to tell you. Um it took me a while to have this type of creativity. But I also had help from uh my one of some of my other friends too so it doesn't uh like you can like as many times as you try you're gonna get it eventually it doesn't matter how uh good or bad it looks all it matters is that you try now i'm pretty sure most of people's creative ideas are not bad at all stream not dream <laughs> I shoot pool league tonight, so I won't be able to catch you then. Something about the next stream after that. Oh, uh, the next stream after that is Wednesday Morning Insanity. is one of my other main wrestling shows that I do. So I stream now on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday mornings. All, all my wrestling shows. Is that the Hurricanes cake? No, that is not Hurricanes cake. <laughs> Oh, you talking about um Jacqueline? Wait, you talking about Jacqueline? Say less, uh, big papito. I don't know if I'm saying your name right ever. Hold on, wait a minute, Jackie Moore. Yeah, that's Jacqueline. Oh, okay, all right, Big Papito, see you later. Nah, Jacqueline was uh, in WWE for a while. But Jacqueline, Jacqueline was pretty fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, Jacqueline was in, uh, in WWE from like, for a really long time. She was the manager for uh, Booker T and um, I forgot who the other dude was. But yeah, she was the manager from Harlem Heat. And uh, then she went on to wrestle for her own and became women's champion. But most of her matches were with, well, yeah, most of her matches were with Sable. Wait, 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 Jester, Jester, I got an idea. I got an idea. So let's make a let's make a, a faction with Damian Black and make it like a creepy one. But we add uh we add uh who else? I'm thinking of some more creepier ones. I'm gonna think. Of, I'm gonna think of something, and I'm gonna send you some ideas. That's why I don't remember. I always skip Sable. <laughs> Brock Lesnar will whoop your ass. Not playing. <laughs> Take it. This, I will rather watch Jake Roberts drunk than her. <laughs> Low key, I kind of understand that, but still, that's kind of rough. <laughs> Funny, but rough. All right, who's gonna win this six-man tornado tag team match? Damian Black is out for the moment. I'm like, yeah, that kind of made me laugh too. That's funny. 
anybody remembers that one segment when uh, Triple H was trying to train Trish Stratus on something, and um, and Stephanie walked in on him. <laughs> When I say that was the funniest I ever seen in my life, I'm like, this man was caught in 4K trying to help her. <laughs> and Stephanie was like, oh, are you crazy? I wanted a stoner team with him and uh, Riddle. Oh, yeah, RVD, that would have been fire. Oh, the jackknife. I did not know there were falls count anywhere on, on in this match. I guess there is. Ooh! Whatever happened to Billy Gale, that's I heard he was scissoring dudes in AEW. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, I think um, Swerve and Billy Gunn are wrestling each other tomorrow. Yeah, he's with the acclaimed. My, that's my favorite tag team in uh, AEW. <laughs> Scissor me, daddy ass. I'm really. The acclaimed have to be. They they got to be my favorite tag team because they're so creative, especially Max Caster. His his bars make me cry. Over things in on wrestling, hottest thing in wrestling hockey. <laughs> that is true. God, everybody's fighting all over the arena. Maybe if it wasn't the 90s, but nah, that man, too old. Only thing he needs to scissor is the tags in his sweater. Oh my god, that's dumb. But that's funny though. Oh, damn. <laughs> I don't even think, I, I'm like really thinking Billy Gunn cannot like he can't yeah he does have a match tomorrow but it's like i don't think billy gun can uh hang with the when did christian turn heel christian turn heel like i think a while back like either three or four months back and just knows what he's doing Yeah, and then Christian and Jungle Boy, boy, when I say that sounded personal, it's crazy. Three members of all different teams are literally fighting against each other. You talking about Luchasaurus? I thought Luchasaurus uh, came back to working with uh, Jungle Boy again. Unless he turned back again, like, what's his... Like last time, last time I remember him, he was doing an impression of Stewie Griffin and having a tantrum on the floor. Watching wrestling. Me, I started watching wrestling and I started watching wrestling at around when I was like four, which is back in like 2005. But I didn't start seeing all, um, yeah, but I saw like the rest of 
2002 and back then too. But I still watch like old school wrestling currently. Yeah, I was born in 2001. <laughs> Not you, bro. Trust me, I've I've I really have met older, so I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. I'm I'm perfectly fine with uh people for out out my down with you. I'm not bothered by that sort of stuff. You're not old. You're I'm like, yeah, you're not old. You're young in spirit. See? Jester's older than you. And Jester's still my homie. I've been to only three live events. I've been to a Monday Night Raw in 2013. That was the night um, I think Shawn Michaels made the appearance and he was gonna be a special guest um, referee. I went to a live event, I think in, uh, I think it was either in December or, it was in January, it was in January. And that was when, um, uh, I don't know when when that was, but that was before the Royal Rumble of that year. Um, and the last event I went to was, damn, I forgot which one that was. This was when AJ Styles was United States Champion, and he challenged Humberto Carlito, and I think it was a non-title match. But uh, that's when that was the last time I ever went to a WWE live event before uh, the pandemic. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The dark match uh, of that night, though, was terrible. And the Waffle Gang picks up the win. The, yeah, the dark match of that night that I was, that last uh, live event I went to, was so fucking terrible. Me and my partner go to live events in London. Been to a few manias, which was cool. I would, bro. I've never even been to a pay per view. I want to go to one so fucking bad, bro. I think, yeah, I started watching most of the pay per views on a uh, WWE network. But, um, the last, the first ever pay per view I ever watched, like personally, was, um, Survivor Series of, uh, 2014, Team Cena versus Team Authority. Went from 20 to 26 and 30. You went to 20, 26, and 30. That's actually fine. So you so you saw uh, when Daniel Bryan became WWE World Heavyweight Champion. That's fire. All right, you guys. That was the end. And my God, that was a long one. But this show was pretty immaculate. We're definitely going to be back um, tomorrow morning for Wednesday Night Insanity. And I'm going to start looking at the King and Queen of the Ring tournament cards. We're going to finish those because I'll be forgetting about them for some fucking reason. We're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to also unveil some rivalries. But overall, this was actually a pretty dope stream. Uh, I'm not going to end it off just yet. I'm going to raid out, figure out who I'm going to raid real quick. Once things end with the virus officially, I'm going to shut. Yeah, for real. Like, as soon as they figure some shit out, I'm definitely going to start, uh, going back to my own, going to wrestling shows again. Uh. Let's, let's raid. Let's raid her real quick. I'm going to raid somebody by the name of It's Mars. If you guys like, uh, how was that, uh, Clash at the Castle was the last one I went to. You went to the, you went to Clash at the Castle? That's fire, dog. I bet it was fun, yeah. And you, you saw uh, Solo Sokoa debut and help uh, loud as hell. I heard my throat from shouting. <laughs> that is fire, dog. I hope you have fun. Man. That was that sounded fun. 
All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. We're going to go raid somebody by the name of It's Mars. She is streaming Overwatch 2 currently. This game is really popular, and people are like, bro, you should get it too. And I'm like, nah, I don't really play Overwatch like that. That game is kind of kind of kind of in my not in my zone but all right you guys i will see y'all later i'll see y'all uh tonight for the quarry if not i'll see you tomorrow morning for wednesday night insanity until then you guys sama gang out <laughs> here all right i'll see y'all later